The Medal of Honor franchise is synonymous with authenticity, immersion, and the highest of production values. In 2004, Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will push the envelope of gaming technology to an unprecedented level in the franchise's history. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will feature massive gameplay environments up to five times the size of the worlds in Allied Assault. This technology will allow the player to roam within the natural landscape while not being restrained to predetermined directions. As the player is thrust into the bloody battle for the Tarawa Atoll, they will move throughout an entire island complete in every detail. The advanced terrain mapping technology will allow the team to create an entire island assault, not just portions of the battle that consumed the lives of over 1,000 American soldiers in less than three days. In the Pacific theater of operations, nature was an adversary every bit as powerful as the Japanese army. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will bring that world to life with plants, animals, water, and weather to create a deeply immersive world. On the Bataan Peninsula, players will be forced to fight the enemy amid concealing ground cover and hear them approach despite pounding rain. The same brutal conditions that plagued Allied troops on the island will confront players as they attempt to foil a Japanese ambush in the midst of a downpour. Both objects and characters in Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will be brought to life using the Havoc physics engine. Force applied to selected objects will react and cascade into objects around it, reacting differently each time as the force and position dictate. Players will take full advantage of game physics on Macon Island as they engage in one of the most daring raids ever conducted. On a Marine Raider team with the objective of destroying an alert Japanese installation, there is nothing more rewarding than seeing bridges, buildings, radio towers, and fuel dumps destroyed by the force of the team's firepower. Individual soldiers and squads in Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will each have their own advanced AI to drive their combat tactics. Japanese troops will vary their assaults to include every approach from hiding in deep jungle grass to an all-out bonsai charge, depending on the circumstances. This procedural AI will create battles that unfold differently with each engagement. The varied strategies of the enemy will be clearly evident on Guadalcanal. As players move their squad across the island, they will be faced with valleys, fields, villages, and gun emplacements, each tactically challenging while provoking different responses from the enemy. Attacks from enemy aircraft in Medal of Honor Pacific Assault will rely on a new AI system for planes that sets objectives and then lets the pilots pursue targets as they choose. This will allow the creation of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat with undetermined outcomes and real-world chaos. The skies above Pearl Harbor will be filled with scores of Japanese fighters and bombers hell-bent on the destruction of the U.S. naval fleet. Players will have to fight back against intelligent enemies, but watch out. Their bullets and airplane debris can damage the very ships they are trying to protect. You don't play, you volunteer. Medal of Honor, Pacific Assault, coming 2004.